The Fox and the Grapes The fox and Goo Goo had made friends with each other. It was a usual routine for them to visit each other at least once every week. This time, it was Goo Goo turn to go, but for some reason, Goo Goo did not feel like going. The fox tried to lure it by saying that it will fetch some juicy grapes from the neighboring vineyard if Goo Goo would come over. That lured Goo Goo, which consented to go. As the fox had promised to bring grapes from the vineyard, the fox set out in the mid-heat of summer as though it were going for a walk. When it was close to the vineyard, it saw luscious, juicy grapes in plenty. At the very look of it, the fox was convinced that it is just the thing to quench its thirst. The fox looked around to ensure nobody saw what it was up to. On noticing that there was no one around the place, it stealthily moved closer to the grapes that were hanging low. It jumped to pluck them, but its height did not help reach the grapes. Drawing back a few paces, the fox ran a few steps and then jumped to reach the bunch of grapes, but it missed the bunch. The fox tried again, yet again, but to no avail. It felt extremely disappointed. Every time, it looked like he were closer to reach the bunch of grapes, but failed miserably. There was no other means by which it could pluck the grapes. The fox stood there for a while, thinking about what to do. No other alternative came to its mind. After thinking about it for a long time, the fox felt like giving up as it did not find any solution. But then, it had promised that it would get grapes for dinner, and that is the reason why Goo Goo had agreed to come. Now what can be done? thought the fox to itself. Even as it stood below the vines thinking, it began looking at it from a different perspective. It tried to convince itself by thinking that the grapes looked sour and there was no point of wasting so much time trying to pluck it. He then walked away with his nose high in the air, sniffing and saying, I'm sure they are sour. On reaching home, it sees Goo Goo has already arrived. Goo Goo eagerly looks at the fox's hands in anticipation of the grapes, but sees it's empty-handed. When asked, it learns the entire story of what had happened and concludes that it is easy to despise what you cannot get. <laughs>